All right, welcome to Judo 101 with Professor Shindaro. We're gonna look at the Uchimata system, okay? The ultimate goal here is to throw someone to Uchimata. How to do that, okay? So first thing you have to do is ask yourself, are you in good position, okay? Yes or no. If you're not in good position, right, you see all this space, do not go for Uchimata. Always fight for position first, okay? So don't do it. Don't do it, okay? Like drugs, it'll mess you up, not good for you. Okay, get you countered, do not do it. So fight for good position, yes or no. If you have good position, right versus right dominant, right versus left dominant, then you're gonna go into Uchimata. Right? And you have two sort of uh, routes to getting into the entry. Okay, you could go for a direct attack, as you can see in this straight line. Right? It's a direct attack into Uchimata, right? Or you could set up your attacks. Now these are the different types of setups here. I like to classify my setups in three ways. Snap down, fake, creating an angle. Right? You could also, I threw a combination there as well, you could do the Kochi Ochi, the inside trips, outside trips, things like this to parlay your attack uh, into uh, the major powerful turn throw. Right? So, good position, yes, you could do a setup, going into Uchimata entry, I'll sh do some videos on setups later, or you could just go straight into a direct attack. All right, now let's talk a little bit about the Uchimata entry. So there's lots of instructionals out there that says like, hey, do it like this, do it like that. There's many different steps, uh, but there are primarily three sort of methods that I like to go over. There's a one-step Uchimata where you just turn and go in, right? Using momentum from the back leg. There's a sort of a two-step Uchimata or stab-step Uchimata, some people say, or you could do a classic three-step Uchimata, right? Notice the entries are all a little bit different and the timing of entry uh, is sort of staggered. So if someone's expecting you to go for a three-step and they're a little bit late, delayed uh, reaction, then it's a nice time to go uh, right into it, right? So once we have the Uchimata entry, uh, there's sort of two sort of classic uh, finishes and it's the lifting and the one leg, right? The lifting is sort of the classic pick the person up and both their legs are there, you rotate them and just finish, right? Uh, there's some good resources on that, uh, but a lot of the times a person puts their other leg down and you're in sort of this ken ken position where one leg is up and one leg is down, and then you sort of have to go into your finishing sequence. Uh, we'll get to that as well. There's probably like three or different four methods that are sort of classic that we can go over, but this sort of flowchart is uh, really crucial in actually understanding Uchimata. There's videos of people, hey, this is how I do Uchimata, sleep here, lapel, pull, and go like this, but I, I believe that's taken completely out of context. Um, there's no way you can throw someone uh, if you're sort of in a losing position or if you don't set up your techniques properly. Um, you have to know all these different lines, right, in order to be sort of an expert in Uchibata. And if you look at any great players in their matches, you'll see that they do this very, very, very well, right? And if you leave a comment saying, hey, I one time uh, saw a guy throw some Uchibata from a losing position, uh, what about that? Yeah, it's a possibility, right? If a nine-year-old grabbed me and put me in a bad position, I could just turn, kick my leg up, and throw him, right? Doesn't mean it's good technique, right? We want to be able to throw people that are bigger, stronger, faster, and better than us, and position is the key. So it all starts with good position. Yes or no? If you don't have good position, don't do Chimara. Fight for position first, right? Get the good position, then you can either set up, go direct, you have these three types of entries, and then these two types of finishes, right? Uh, we could eventually go break these down into subcategories too, uh, so stay tuned for that. Thank you. All right, so now I'm here with Christian. We're going to demonstrate some of these concepts, okay? So good position, bow. This good position, absolutely not. We're dead even. If I go in, there's a good chance that he might counter it. Right? I don't know what could potentially happen there. Uh, it's too dangerous, right? So right side versus right side, do I have good position? It's kind of neutral, right? Uh, so I want to take the position by bringing my hand up and his hand down. Now I'm in good position, right? Do I do Uchimata here? Yes, okay? If I reverse it, his hand is high, my hand is low. If I go Uchimata here, there's a good chance I'm going to get counted, okay? He's preventing my head from turning. Uh, my hand's really low, so I don't really control his posture. Uh, bad position, do I go Uchimata? No way. It's a great way for me to get counted. So from this position, I'm going to really focus on getting my dominant position here. Right, this is a very good right side versus right side. If I could cut this hand, even better. I really control his sleeve and the lapel. Uh, go for Uchimata. That's right side versus right side, right? Right side, right side dominant. Now we look at right side, left side dominant. Good post, shoulders turn, 
Can I get Uchimata here? Absolutely. Lift, nice Uchimata, so easy to do. Right? I could go direct as you saw, but now we're gonna look sort of at the setup, right? We have four different types of setup. Let's just do right side versus right side, All right? I'm controlling, I can snap the opponent down, I can fake forward for Uchimata, see what his reaction is, right? Or I could use sort of a, a sidestep to create an angle. And the last one is uh, using a combination. If I go back, he gives me reaction forward, and this is my entry for nice Uchimata technique right here. Right? So good position, yes or no, set up, Uchimata entry, or direct attack, okay? So now we're gonna look that set up just briefly, snap, fake, create an angle combination. Then we're gonna look at the entries for Uchimata, right? So if you could look at my feet, uh, I like to sort of classify, if you just put an even stance, uh, three types of stepping Uchimata here. There's gonna be a one step Uchimata where it's just one step and then going in for Uchimata. It goes without saying, the hands are always pulling towards me, right? No step, direct attack Uchimata, right? So I just use my momentum, swung this foot, and post it at the top of the triangle. I can do the same exact technique, one step Uchimata, but going forward as well. One step. Okay, so those are two one step Uchimata. You can do a classic two step Uchimata. This is great for right versus left. Okay? So right side versus left side. Uh, people call it the stab step Uchimata. One, two, okay? It's two steps. And then of course, the very, very classic, traditional one, two, three. Okay, so now we've covered position, setup, three different types of entry. Right? So now we have to look at the finish. Each one of those Uchimanas that I just did, it was a lifting finish. Right? If I could lift him, if I could lift him onto my hip, whoop, I'm gonna keep pulling downward, bring his head down, and rotate him over my hip, bring his back to the floor. Right? But a lot of the times, if I don't get to lift them, and if he puts one leg down, we're stuck in this sort of can can position, right? So now we have to look at the main lines here. Once I get into this position where the finish is the one leg down, I have to immediately execute this last sequence. I pull the arm across, I stop his head down. That's the key. Head goes down, leg goes up. Okay, like this. Whoa, like this, like this, like this, and I want to keep turning him. Okay? And I'm going to use my entire body weight to take him down. The little leg goes up, stop. I rotate him and I spiral him downwards. Now that's not it though. Once we have the one leg down, we have to consider some of his options, okay? I don't wanna bring his head down so he postures up and I'm physically incapable of taking his head down. I'm gonna switch directions to the OG angle, okay? Once I have the direction to the OG, I can run him, go right into Osoto, or OG as my second uh, method of finish, right? So we have Ken Ken, spiral, Ken Ken, that angle, and the last one, oh, I go Osoto, he posts far out this way, now I'm gonna swing my opponent to the weak side of the leg and rotate it for an Ochigari finish, right? So those are sort of my four systems of attack for the Uchimata, right? It all starts in good position. All starts with a good position. Yes or no, right? Bad position. I'm never gonna do Uchimata from here. Oh, ah, that's a great way to get counted. Right? So good position, yes or no. I could go direct attack, set up my attack, Uchimata entry, one step, two step, or three step, and then the finish. Lifting him, and a lot of times you wanna go for the lift first, right? Spectacular finish. If you can't finish with the lift, go into the one leg system. Right?